3.14 a.m. Do you know where your kids are? If you're my mom, you do. I'm at the Bear Lake Trailhead here in Rocky Mountain National Park. I'm tired as hell, but excited because today I'm gonna to be hiking the Dragon's Tail Coolar, which has been on my list forever. For a full trail guide of the Dragon's Tail Coolar, you can check the link in the description below. To start this hike today, you're just gonna work up to Dream and Emerald Lakes. It's nighttime now, so it's not gonna be much footage. I'll be filming this later in the day, but I'll show you a quick summary on how to get to the base of the Coolar. First step is to get to this little lake right here. Second up, you're gonna hit Dream Lake here before getting up to Emerald uh, in a second. Absolutely beautiful basin, and all of these lines look gnarly, but Dragon's Tail is the centerpiece here and you'll see it right in the middle. Starting uh, Dragon's Tail super early in the morning, I'd recommend having a GPS because as we found out the hard way, there's a ton of social trails. And when you have less than three hours of sleep, your brain is not functioning right, so you might get lost. So just be aware, there's tons of different social trails around all these little lakes uh, on your way up to the one you want to get to, which is Emerald. That's enough flash forwards into the future. Now back to the present. I know you can't see anything, but this is uh, Emerald Lake here. Clearly a bit thawed out. So I'll show you some views hopefully later. Might hike back up here after uh, if I can't snowboard down. That's the plan today at least. Uh, but you're going to want to go around the left side of the lake there and then uh, Dragon's Tail will be on the right. Let's talk about Dragon's Tail for a bit. So uh, it's a Y Coolar, which means that it's uh, a straight line up and then there's two, uh, really two plus variations. It's about 1700 feet of climbing and it's uh, about 40 to 50 degrees uh, sustained. Towards the top, it's where it's gonna be more sustained. Uh, this line is a classic here to ski, to climb. Uh, obviously you can see today I have the split board, so hopefully we'll be making some kind of turns on the way down. The snow is pretty crisp today. Uh, so we'll see what that looks like. In worst case scenario, if you don't want to descend, whether it be down climb, glissade, etc., the the uh, coolar, you can always just walk off flat top mountain. And I'll have a map here that shows you kind of what that route looks like um, if you were to do that. Uh, if you want to extend this hike, you could go to the flat top true summit, which is about 0.6 miles uh, up the coolar to the left. Uh, then you can also go over to Hallett Peak, which is another. Uh, mile-ish or so as well. So lo loads of options here from Bear Lake. So there we have uh, Emerald Lake. And then looking at this really cool little basin up here. So in front of us, this is Dragon's Tail. So you can't really see the Y, but essentially there's one there and one there. So we'll be going to the right today. The left is more technical. Definitely need rope, maybe some gear placement in there, depending on what the conditions are. The right side is usually guarded by a cornice earlier in the year. So that might be why you have to go left, but yeah, it's a very beautiful looking route. So the name uh, Dragon's Tail kind of comes from this rock formation to the left too. There's also like Dragon's Tooth up here. To the left is Dragon's Tooth. I'll transition into our climbing gear here. So let's talk about gear quickly for this one. Definitely want to have at least one uh, ice axe mountain tool. Crampons 100%. Uh, you can have rope as a backup. You might need to climb out of the, the end here depending on your exit. So rope and protection, uh, harness if you're going that route too. If you're going coming here most of the time though, one tool, crampon should be fine. Uh, as I mentioned, it's not super, super steep, 50 degrees or so. To shop all virtual Sherpa gear, you can check uh, the links in the description below. I got stickers, hats, hoodies to help support the channel. Uh, and you can also check out the links in the description below uh, for everything I'm using here today in terms of specific gear. Unfortunately, the decision was made pretty quickly here. This is just debris and runnels, so no matter how warm this is, it's not going to be fun to board down, but beautiful look there at Emerald Lake, and then you got Long Peak through there. Looking back down to the lake, 
and this is your first kind of choke point, if you will. Uh, so you can probably go middle when there's more snow. For us today, going left makes the most sense. You do not want to fall in here. Snow went from uh, pretty soft to ice real quick. So the quick moving, I was trying to catch up to these guys up there. I've been filming so I was slow, but you gotta take your time in this stuff because one wrong move, you got a long way down. Putting scale to this thing, look how small they are. Sun's starting to come up. Looking down. Sorry for the shaky footage. I have one hand on my axe. Probably about halfway up now. Uh, the gular starts to get noticeably more thin before it snakes to the right and then uh, exits out on the cornice there. A closer look at the debris here, just looking down. So yeah, this would be, this is like ice. So even if this warms up a bit like that, it's still gonna be terrible, terrible conditions. So although you can ski this line in the spring, there's also a huge runnel starting to form there. It's where water will melt. There's a huge indent and that'll start working down as well. So, you know, if you really were like hankering for it, I'm sure you could get down this on a set of skis or a board right now, but it's just not worth it. I mean, that's five feet deep right there. So anyway, this is the start of your choices. Obviously you could spice it up a bit and go left. The main tail route goes right. where you start to get some options. So we're gonna go left there, but you can go right as well. So it's really up to you. Left uh, will be uh, the easier route. For those wondering how steep it is, this is a good example here of the uh, exposure down. Really, the whole thing is kind of no fall zone because of the little rock bands down there. Looking down here, sun finally up. Beautiful day. Long peak through there. This is probably the crux where they're at right now. Mickey crossing the little, well, it's not actually so little, crevasse type thing that's just got sunlight on it and starting to kind of fall apart. So Nick was telling me to hurry up. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming. And little did I know, there is a massive, massive, uh, runnel, gap in the snow, crevasse, whatever you want to call it here, to the point where we're not even sure if the groups behind us are going to be able to get through that without rope or something because it's pretty gnarly. So just an ever present reminder that just because these lines stay in to June, you know, whatever, doesn't mean that it's going to be like the same experience that we have today or that, uh, you know, it's a regular snow climb. So 
Uh, this is being filmed in late May. I know everyone always asks that. I'll have the full GPX of this track as I always do in the uh, full hike guide. But uh, yeah, just be prepared for variable conditions anytime you're dealing with snow. Just about to the top out here. You can see there's some mixed conditions. The slope eases up for a bit and then you'll have one final push to get out of Dragon's Tail here. See Nick on the rocks to the left. Uh, so yeah, again, if you're skiing, snowboarding, coverage can be an issue here. So you might have to wrap down a bit. John working his way to this mixed section. Nick staring down, judging us all on how inadequate we are. <laughs> Look, I'm an ice climber. There's no axe in mouth. Yeah, and trim left there, yeah. One last look down Dragon's Tail. What an awesome line. Might be a little soft. Find out. We're talking about we're talking about ghost here, so we're clearly in a good good mood. Nick's just uh, leaving here. This is a view of the cornice that might be an issue for you, uh, but overall, what an awesome line. Looking back there, over to Longs. Yeah. What a beautiful beautiful day. So we're going to go tag Flat Top Mountain, which is uh, literally right there. It's pretty descriptive because it's flat and it's up there. So uh, you can see Hallett behind Nick there. That's another popular mountain. Looks like there's some good snow lines over there. But uh, yeah, so the slope I'll be snowboarding down today, unfortunately, will be this uh, just because the cool R was just there's no way it could have been safely done under my abilities today. Summit of Flat Top Mountain here. We decided to just tag it after uh, Dragon's Tail since it's about a half mile of additional hiking and very flat uh, to get here. So this is like a 12,000 foot peak. Uh, you can see Hallett Peak behind me here and looking back down towards uh, the Tyndall Glacier. Really, really cool. So this is actually another ski line. And then there's uh, the lake, and then you might be able to see the parking lot where we parked like down there. So Dragon's Tail out of view right over there. Overall, just an awesome day up here. Awesome morning, I should say. We have plenty of day left. Just under four miles to Flat Top after doing Dragon's Tail. Uh, so uh, yeah, gonna be about an eight mile day here. So a couple quick notes about this one. Obviously not dog friendly since we're in a national park. You can't have dogs. This is a southeast facing facing Kular, so which means that it's going to warm up pretty quickly and uh, that was pretty apparent as I was showing you guys uh, those kind of like runnels and uh, little mini crevasses in the snow as well so um, yeah overall just an awesome awesome line can't recommend it enough it's a classic for a reason if you didn't snowboard you can just walk right down flat top uh, there'll usually be a, a trail uh, from the summit uh, back down to the Bear Lake. Awesome look here at the back side of Longs, the standard keyhole route. Just beautiful up here. Hopefully we'll get some good turns on the way down back to the car. <laughs>
I love boarding. Uh, but before things turn rotten here and my moods dissipate, I want to wrap up this trail guide of the Dragon's Tail Coolar here in Rocky Mountain National Park. If you're new to my channel, I do trail guides of everything in Colorado, hiking tips, and much, much more. Go ahead and hit that subscribe and then bell button not to miss any future hike related content. As always, for a full A to Z, everything you need to know about this hike, all the questions you guys ask in the comment hike guide of Dragon's Tail Coolar, you can check the link in the description below that links to my website, thevirtualsherpa.com. I appreciate you all so much for watching and thank you as always. We'll see you on the next adventure.